Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Cakes by Sharon. Today I am creating a Princess Jasmine cake for you. Thank you to everyone who made a suggestion. I hope you're all going to enjoy this one. Jasmine is part of my Disney Princess playlist, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of my Disney Princess tutorials as well as all of my other Creative Cake tutorials. So let's get started. I have here my Princess Jasmine template and I've printed it off on two sheets because it doesn't fit on the one A4 so all you have to do is cut the templates out and join it in the middle. I've got a 10 inch square cake as well as a board. I've got a piece of plastic perspex which I use to cut my fondant with. I've got a pair of scissors, a sharp knife, my X-Acto blade, offset spatula as well as my palette knife. I've got some water and a paintbrush. I'm using a little bit of yellow buttercream frosting today, some chocolate ganache, and today I'm using some black fondant, some skin toned fondant, a little bit of turquoise, blue, yellow, white, red, and brown fondant. I'm also using a round cutter, and it's the size of Jasmine's eye. I've got a couple of petal dusts here today. I've got a pink and a nice gold. So the first thing I need to do is lay my template onto my cake and holding my knife nice and vertically I'm going to cut all the way around the edge of the template. And then remove the excess cake. Then I'm just going to cut the next section out from the template and cut along the edge of her chin to remove this section. Now I'm going to take a little bit of height off the neck so that this part of the cake is lower than her face. I want to create a few different layers in my jasmine cake. So for the first layer I've removed the top section of jasmine's hair from the template and I'm inserting my knife about half a centimetre deep into the cake and cutting along the top of the hairline that's left on the template. And then I'm coming from the top of the cake, slicing off the very top part of the cake. The next layer is going to be Jasmine's face and you can see I've cut around her face. And I'm basically just going to run the very tip of my knife around the edge of the template. Now I just want to remove the very top layer of my cake. I suppose this would be the top crumb coat. So I'm just going to scrape it off with my knife. Now to create Jasmine's nice wavy hair and make it look like it's actually going behind her ears, I'm going to come in from the bottom of the cake and cut up on an angle. Before I do that though, I'm just going to now cut along the edge of her face once more, this time going in a little deeper, probably about a full centimetre. You can see that as I cut diagonally upwards, as I reach the very top of her hair, I'm just blending it with the height of the top of the cake. So now after a few simple cuts and a little bit of shaving off the top of the cake, we're left with five different layers. Now I've separated both the face section and the neck section in half and I'm going to add a nice layer of my yellow buttercream frosting. I'm going to now cover the entire cake with a nice layer of my chocolate ganache. The ganache is going to add extra flavour to the cake as well as provide a nice base for the fondant to stick to. Once I've got a nice covering, I'm going to pop it in the fridge for about 15 minutes to set. Once I take the cake out of the fridge, the ganache is set but it's not too hard. So I'm going to smooth over the surface by dipping my offset spatula into some boiling water, wiping off the excess moisture and gliding the spatula over the cake. The heat from the spatula gently melts the ganache enough so that I can get a nice smooth finish. At this point I'm just going to transfer Jasmine's head to the cake board. After all the preparation is finished I can start covering the cake with fondant and I'm going to do one layer at a time. The first section I'm going to do is the top of Jasmine's head so I'm going to cut that part of the template out again 
This is a fresh template that I've got. And as I cut it out of the fondant, I have to make sure that I leave enough at the top of her head to cover the front of the cake. Now I'm going to carefully position the fondant onto the cake, making sure I sit the fondant right up into the very edge of Jasmine's hairline. And I've just turned my cake around so you can see as I open up the fondant and smooth it down the sides. And then I'm going to use my little piece of plastic perspex to trim off the excess fondant. To smooth out the fondant, I've just got a little bowl of black fondant. A cake smoother is not really appropriate here because of all the tight edges and the different layers in the cake. Now I'm going to work on the sides of Jasmine's hair. So you can see that I've split my template up into three pieces now. I'm going to use each side of the template to cut out her hair and cover the cake. Always remember to cut out the fondant large enough so that you have enough to cover the sides of the cake as well. Guys, if you're enjoying this tutorial, why not add it to your favourites by clicking on the plus button. It only takes a few seconds to do and then you'll always have this tutorial right at hand. To make Jasmine's face I'm using some of the skin coloured fondant and I'm going to cut around the edge of the template, this time leaving enough fondant at the bottom of her chin to cover the front of the cake. As I lay the fondant onto the cake I'm just going to lift it up and position it properly making sure it sits right up into the edges before trimming off the excess and smoothing the top. At this point I'm going to cover the little piece of cake for Jasmine's neck and position it up against her face. For Jasmine's nose I've got a small piece of skin coloured fondant and I'm going to mould it using my template as a guide to get the correct shape. And once I position her nose onto the cake I'm just going to blend the top of it so that the join is a bit seamless. For the eyes I've cut them out of my template and I'm going to start by cutting out the whites of Jasmine's eyes out of some white fondant followed by the brown using the little circle cutter then I'm going to use a little bit of water to adhere the brown parts to the whites of her eyes trimming off the excess at the top of the eye I've just rolled two little balls of black fondant for her pupils as well as a very thin black snake using some black fondant to just outline the browns of her eyes. And finally I'm just going to add a little reflection in her eye with two little balls of white fondant. Now to make sure that I position her eyes in the correct spot on the cake I'm going to use my template as a guide and just moisten the cake a little bit and then stick her eyes into place. To outline Jasmine's eyes I've rolled some black fondant into a long snake tapered at both ends and I'm just going to adhere it with a little bit of water to the top and bottom of both of her eyes. On the template I'm using we can only see just a little bit of Jasmine's eyebrows so I've just rolled a little bit of black fondant which I've adhered to the cake. For the lips, I'm going to first cut out the entire shape with some white fondant and then do the same thing with my red fondant and using my blade I'm just going to carefully cut out a little section from the middle and then stick it onto the piece of white fondant so the teeth show through from behind. Once again it's best to use the template in order to position the lips in exactly the right spot. To add some more colour to Jasmine's face I'm going to use some of my pink petal dust to gradually build up a little bit of pink eyeshadow. Her headband is easily made by rolling out a thick snake which is tapered on both ends and adhering it to the cake. 
Similarly, I've made the blue jewel using the template as a guide, as well as the gold ring that sits around the jewel. To make sure that the jewel sits nice and flush on the cake, I've just cut out a little section of the headband and then attach the jewel as well as the gold ring. For her necklace I've rolled out another thick snake of yellow fondant and I'm just pinching it with my fingers to make it a little bit pointy on the edges. Of course I now need to attach her ears which I've cut out of the same skin tone fondant and I'm moulding her earrings using some of the yellow fondant and using the template as a guide to get the correct shape. Once I've attached her earrings, I'm going to now use my gold petal dust to go over all of the yellow pieces of fondant to give them a beautiful gold sheen. And here she is guys, my Princess Jasmine cake. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did guys, don't forget to give it a like and be sure to share it with your friends. I love to get your feedback, your comments and your suggestions, so drop me a line in the comments section below. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see all of my Disney Princess tutorials including Snow White and Sophia the First as well as many others. And as always, thanks for watching.